lesson one in this video we will learn how to import and export csv file and how to calculate the summary statistics so in this video i will be using daily sales data of some stores in category right so this consists of sales data of say store one category a on a particular date so these are the sales numbers and these are the units sold right so in order to import these files in from your working directory right to our console as a data frame the function is read.csv if it is a csv file then the first argument is the name of the file which is present in your working directory which is the daily sales data.csv and this has to be in quotes second argument is header is equal to true because the first row is your column names right so in order to read that i will just execute this code now next point is to create a variable called average selling price or asp in order to create a variable called average selling price so i have two variables in the data set one is sales and one is unit sold so if i divide sales by unit sold i will get average selling price of that particular category on a particular date right so in order to do that first we have to write the name of data frame dollar sign and then sales column divided by again name of the data frame dollar sign and then unit sold column which is present in your data frame right so once you execute this a column will be created in your data frame asp and this will consist of you know have a selling price now in order to check whether what are the different structure of variables present in your data set there is a function called str str stand for structure in bracket you have to mention the name of the data frame which is daily sales data right so if you execute this your structure of all the variable present in that data frame will be printed in our console so you can see that date is a factor store is integer which is 1 2 3 is store id category again is a factor because it is a b c d and then there are three metrics one is sales which is integer the unit sold which is again an integer a continuous variable asp is number and uh, is a continuous variable right so in order to calculate the summary statistics summary statistics basically gives you six metrics minimum maximum mean q1 q3 and median or you can say q2 right so median is your q2 as well so you can only create you know you can only calculate the summary statistics only only three variables in this particular data set which is sales unit sold and asp and these are indexed at 4 5 6 position in this data set right so in order to calculate these summary statistics there is a function called summary and the argument is that name of your data frame if all the columns are you know numerical or, can, or continuous in nature if there are only few cases like in our case there are only sales units sold in asp which are continuous in nature so you can subset your data frame as daily sales data square bracket so you need all the rows of that particular columns but you want to subset the columns from 4 to 6 index so you can use c then in parentheses you can write 4 to 6 close the brackets and just press enter so this will give you a summary statistics of these three variables in the r console and then in order to export this file as a csv if this data frame as a csv file uh, to your working directory you can use a function called write.csv first argument is name of your data frame which is present in r this data frame second argument is the name by which you want to export the file so here in right now here it's daily sales data with asp.csv and the third argument is row.names is equal to false because you do not want row index to be present in the final file which is exported once you execute this code your final file will be exported to your working directory i hope you like this video Thank